a future AMPs. So I'm sure many of you have already realized, or should I say, have experienced that the oral questions for the AMP exams, uh, same thing has happened to them, just like we noticed with the written exams, the questions have changed. So we thought it was a nightmare with the written exams where they changed the questions with the written exams. Well, now they've done it to the oral exams as well. So, you know, I guess they figured uh, they might as well do it to us with the oral exams too. You know, I guess they had fun giving us the headache with the written exams, so they might as well do it to us with the oral exams too. That was very nice of them to do that, right? So, <laughs> so uh, a lot of the questions are, uh, the question is now the answer, the answer is now the question. So I was taking uh, one of, I was taking the power plant uh, oral exam and I was like, you know, wait a minute, what are you asking me? I did not recognize the question at all. So long story short, uh, I was not able to pass that exam. So I had to go do some more studying before I was able to pass it. Uh, long story short, uh, eventually I was able to pass it and uh, I finished the uh, airframe and power plant exam uh, certification. So that was, you know, good. So yeah, you definitely need to do a lot more studying, know the material, know the engines. Uh, you know, this memorization stuff just isn't going to work anymore. You need to know the, the engines, uh, which is what everyone needs to do because they're just going to keep changing the questions on you now. If you don't know the stuff, uh, don't know the engines, it's going to be very difficult and there's going to be fewer and fewer of us A&Ps left. Uh, if you don't know the, the engines, know the, the aircraft, uh, this memorization stuff just isn't going to fly anymore. Uh, so we're going to have to work as a team and get through this because they're just going to keep flip-flopping the questions and the answers. So. Um, Downloading some more videos, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to try to label them 2023 for now. Uh, as we all know, it's going to be 2024 before you know it. <laughs> so let's try to, you know, keep working as a team. And uh, uh, you're going to have friends and family who are going to, you know, be students and stuff. Try to encourage them to uh, read the books. You know, uh, you know, we all study different ways. You know, some of us listen to video, watch videos, some of us read books, some of us use flashcards. Uh, try to encourage people to uh, know the material, you know, know how the engine works. Because, you know, this memorization of questions and answers, it's not going to fly anymore. Because they, they're just going to keep changing the questions. And... Um, it's just and now they're gonna uh, they're gonna start putting more chapters in these exams now. There's gonna be uh, electrical engines coming, hydrogen engines coming, and uh, if you can get your AMP now, that's great. You're gonna be grandfathered in. That's super. But uh, these new students that are coming around, they're gonna have a harder and harder time getting their AMP uh, with more and more chapters, more and more material. And uh, if, if, you, if they don't know how the engines work, um, this memorization stuff isn't going to fly. So try to encourage the newer, newer students to uh, know the material, know how the engine works. You know, this memorization stuff just isn't going isn't to work anymore. So good luck to you all. And uh, try to encourage uh, people, you know, deactivate those Netflix accounts. And... Uh, <laughs> And uh, just uh, know the stuff, you know, and this memorization stuff, uh, that's not going to work anymore. So good luck, everyone.